Good evening. You are listening to Crown World Conversations with Andy May. Today's topic is fetishes and fantasies. Today I'm sipping on some Crown World vanilla with Coke. Um, so I'm going to jump right into the topic of fetishes. A lot of people have confusion between being kiki and what a fetish is. So um, based on my research, a fetish is something where a person is obsessed with a, with an object that they have to have during sexual encounters for them to have an orgasm. So the objects could be shoes, um, bondage, the fetish, um, furries. If you heard what a furry is, they dress up like animals in animal costumes. And they have to be that way to get sexual gratification. Also, there's a fetish of wanting to be a baby and having a diaper. Gross. Diaper fetish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, diaper fetish. Um, also, there's a fetish of um, bodily fluids. Ugh. Like pooping. Peeing. And peeing on someone. Mm, mm, mm. That's one. Um... Now, some things they say that were a fetish, which is not based on definition, was like a foot fetish or um, like to have sex in public places. Voyeurism, I think that's what it's called. Um, Voyeurism, I don't know. Voyeurism. Okay. Um, There was a debate I had with uh, a friend of mine about um, fellatio and coniness. It's not a fetish. They thought head? that was a fetish, yeah. Head in public? It's not, there's an oral fetish where someone has to have, like, fingers. It's, but it's not necessarily oral sex. Let me ask you this. Real quick. Fetishes don't have to necessarily be items and things, right? Because well, some people have fetishes like midgets and, you know. Well, based on definition, it's usually a person has to require an inanimate, inanimate object. Like okay. Like shoes or bondage. Okay. Or, but... You know, there are other looser definitions where you can have a fetish of people, a fat fetish, like, like, sexual fat people, like, oh. obese, <laughs> grotesque, obese people. So, it does matter, by the way. We already had that conversation. Um, you like that? You like heavy set? I don't have a fetish. Oh, uh, you don't have a fetish? No, I don't have to have an, 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 some kind of object in the bedroom for me to have an orgasm. Okay. Now, if you're kinky, that's different. Kinkiness is not typically a fetish. I think people get that confused. Um, underwear fetish, like lingerie. Like men like to have a woman in sexy lingerie. And that's why they can... I, I don't know if that's a, really a... Oh, it, it, might be a fetish. Have an orgasm. it might, be, it might yes. be a fetish to some people. I'm just I'm just saying that's one of the fetishes that is, that is considered in the... Um, it's considered a um, a mental disorder if you, if you get if you take it to that level. Really? Yeah. Hmm. It's considered mental disorder. Um, wow. What the fact I learned something there? new today. There's also um, a fetish of, if I can remember what it is, the baby thing with Armando. I don't think I want anybody just like a baby. I don't think that's, that's kind of out of the norm. Um, and I don't like pooping and peeing on me neither. That's kind of nasty. Um, any other fetishes that you want to know about, Dre? Um, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I'm oh, to think. there is a fetish. You like older people? Like older people. Let me ask you this. Okay, is there, there's got to be a difference between fetishes and what you like. Well, that's kinky. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because... Some people might like old people. That just might be the well, thing. Well, this is where they... If, if it's a fetish, you can't... That means you have to do this to have an orgasm. Like oh, you, hell no. I don't need no old person to have an orgasm. What else I'm saying? Bondage, S&M is considered a fetish because those are inanimate objects like t- ties and ball gags. A little and, bit uh, closer to the mic. I can hear you a little. Oh, ties and ball gags and chains. Bondage. That's definitely a fetish. Those are objects... But just because you like to have handcuffs in the bedroom doesn't mean you have a fetish. It just 
if you can't do without it to have an orgasm, then that is a fetish. So yep. it's, it's a difference. So There's a nylon fetish. You don't have a fetish. No, I don't have a fetish. And kinky is different than fetish. Kinky is different than a fetish. Okay, so what's the difference? There's a pregnancy fetish where a person has to have sex with a pregnant person to have an orgasm. I mean, that'd probably be cool because, you know, when you get pregnant, you got a fat a fat booty. So It's, it's a fetish, meaning they have to have a pregnant person to have an orgasm. Okay. Not kinky. Well, something um, like that. There is a hand fetish. That's kind of weird. But there's one for that. And there is also... I'm trying to find all the weird, weird fetishes. Um, golden shower. Oh, shit. That's a fetish. Meaning that you they have to have a golden shower every time to have an orgasm. S&M, yeah. Like you said, S&M. That's another one of them. That's them. Um, there's a fetish that requires, like, like, a, like fire. That's dangerous. Fire. Uh, mm-hmm. Fires. I know people that like fetish. pain. Pain fetish and like not, spanking, well, spanking with well, a. Well, don't get that. That's kinky. Like if you get like to get spanked every once in a while, that's being kinky. That's not necessarily a fetish unless you can't. Unless um, you can't get an orgasm. And unless you get, you get spanked. spanked. Mm hmm. Exactly. There you go. Exactly. Okay. So, uh huh. So those are like a list of fetishes that are brought up on my research. Um, I don't really have a fetish. So, don't know how to relate to this. Um, the 10 common fetishes, I think we mentioned most of them. So, if anyone... Oh, we need to go to a song. Sorry. Time for a song. Is it time for a song, Dre? <laughs> no, it's not time for a song. Oh, I'm okay. trying to get you to speak closer to the mic. Oh, I'm sorry. Hand. I thought we needed to go to a song. Okay, so I think fetishes are not of the norm, um, which makes them considered a um, mental disorder. Um, I don't. Oh, the latex fetish is where you turn on by balloons. That's do what a latex fetish is where a person is turned on by balloons. Oh shit! I thought that would be the latex is like them outfits, them tight ass. I mean, that's also <sighs> latex. That's what I'm talking about. But that's... And then there is a mummification fetish. When you get tied up. Bond, which like means a, you wrap each other up like mummies. That's... Which is a form of bondage. Yeah. Mm, two forms of bondage. different. Creeper bondage. Uh, You wrapped up like a mummy with another person wrapped up like a mummy. And y'all can't even have sex. Um, There is a macrophilia fetish. Fetish. What which is, is an attraction to giants. Giants. Like, I guess... Short people with a tall person? a giant. Like, big giant. Big size matters, I guess, on that one. Or is it tall, like, you're seven feet and your girl I is, guess like, like a five big feet? Giant people. Big. There is a cake-sitting fetish. A fetish for sitting on cakes. Damn, people come by sitting on cakes. <laughs> I don't want to eat that a shit. Fetish, That's where they come from. Eat the cake. A fetish is known, <laughs> a fetish known as a cake farting, wherein people literally fart into a cake. <laughs> That's gross. That is disgusting. Oh, oh my god! Shoot. I want to sit on cake and fart on it. Damn. No. Who would want that? There is one out there, and there's one called Pony Play, where is you dress up like a horse. Oh hell, fuck no! And another one, another might lead them around or ride them. Uh, it's like the adult version of the Toy Story. Is that what we talking about? That's that's that's, that's disgusting. I never heard of a cake sitting fetish. You fart in a cake. That's taking it to the next level. Some people might like that shit, man. Um, that's where they get the, eat the cake from. Called dendrophilia, which is tree hugger. Tree hugger. People who with like this being fetish out in the woods. are attracted to trees. Oh, okay, like being in the woods. I thought. Okay. Well, we this go. is interesting. You want to get back into some more after this? Sure. We will come back with the, this topic. We're going to stay on the fetish topic and then talk about some fantasies. What you sipping on? 
Okay, so we are talking about fetishes and fantasies. I think we covered some of the unusual fantasies, um, what the difference is as far as, I'm sorry, not fantasies, but fetishes. Fetishes. There was one I forgot to mention of a nose fetish, where a person likes to suck on someone's nose while having sex. That's nasty. Ew. You get burgers in your mouth. <laughs> Boogers. And sh- I ain't no oh, way. my God. So... For personal experience, I cannot relate to this topic because I don't have a fetish. I don't have one. Dre? Fetishes. Uh, Do let's you see. have a fetish? I mean, I always thought that midgets was a fetish. I mean, of But mine, do you but have to have a midget in the bedroom to have nah, an orgasm? Nah. Okay. Nah. Not at all. I didn't have to have a mid- midget in the uh, bedroom for that to happen. But you've always... So you're really as a fantasy. You fantasize about having sex with the midget. I mean, somebody gotta have a fantasy about having some somebody with some some with somebody. No, we're talking about you specifically. That's, that's the your, other side of your conversation. Well, we're we're, let's go into fetishes, fantasies now. No, no let's no. go ahead. Move on to fantasies. I mean, if you, if you want to move into since that we're idea, on that topic, I mean, we can move into the fantasy realm. I mean, move into the fantasy realm. So fine. you have a fantasy about having sexual relations with the midget? No, I mean, you just said you did. Never said that. You want never, to never never mention the idea of having a listeners did we Dre not say he wanted to have sex with the midget? I just think that they're different. They everybody got their favorites. I mean, hell, you might like Okay, well okay. You like you like ball head people. No, I don't like would this be a, it's not a fetish, but it's something that's kinky. You like ball head people with well, no, no hair on their face. It's not a fetish. Mm-hmm. But it is a kinky thing. What is that? Like I like men or men, gay porn. Men or men, not not your boy. I think two I mean, dicks fascinate me. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. Well, I mean, it would to a woman. I mean, but yeah, so that's in, not a fetish. A I mean, it's kind of kinky. Particular that's way. That's all I have. So, Dre likes midgets, and I like gay porn. Men or men, not I mean, a woman. It is what it is. Okay. I mean, I, I mean everybody's <laughs> fantasies and, and fetishes are different. I mean, me okay. personally, I'm more. I think to say to myself sometimes I want to be romantic, but then sometimes just whatever it is. But you got people that like being choked, like people that like being tied up. It's kinky. Like people that like, uh, but well, no, it's not, ne- ne- not necessarily because it's yeah, borderline fetishes. Uh, you got them people that, like you said, like sucking toes. You got people that like, you know, sucking like nose. A, like, like our last conversation, <laughs> you got to have the mouth game. I mean, you got people that got the mouth game. I mean, I mean, they just want mouth. I mean, you talking about oral sex? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Head game. People that just like sixty nine. Uh, uh, you got the swingers. That that is considered a fetish. Swingers. One site said it was a fetish. You got swingers. I mean, you got a whole flu of things that there people is. like and don't like. But I mean, the world is nasty out there. You guys are nasty. Th- there is some that are, are, are considered to be gross. The pin pooping and the baby thing. I mean, uh, the nose thing. Uh, it's a lot of them. That yeah, it's just well, like it's like some people's fetish is eating ass. That's not a fetish. It's called being kinky. I don't know now. That's kinky. That's what the that's why I have this topic that, because people, people are getting confused between yeah. what a fetish is and what's being kinky. And people and people need to chime in on that idea because I believe that it, tossing from, the salad is from my what idea, it's called. Y'all call it tossing salad. I don't y'all. Know. It's what it's called. Okay. Okay. Tossing the salad. Tossing the salad. If you call it tossing salad, it's tossing salad. I call it not necessary. If you had to choose between one of the two, which one would you rather me do? Which one? Two, give eat, me a choice. Eat the cake or eat the other cake? <laughs> Toss the salad or eat the cake? Which, which, which one are we talking about? I'd rather about? eat the cake, I guess. That's and toss the salad. No, rather okay. choose between I mean, silliness and eating ass. That's what I'm saying. So technically, from my standpoint, that is not a fetish to me. That is just downright different. I mean, you got it's a lot of people kinky. That, kinky. That's so what you, you're trying to say. What Eating, is Thompson salad okay. is considered kinky. So to animate, what is kinky? What is like, anime like? Okay, kinkiness is like like anime? getting choked. Oh, you like getting choked? I'm just saying. I'm just saying what okay. kinky is okay. like getting choked, tossing the salad. You know, light bondage, can like getting you know can of wax, whatever. Some people like that. That's kinky. You know, that's kinkiness. Or well, all this is debatable too, because you got some people that like this stuff as to to get off. Then that's considered a fetish. 
Okay, if so you okay. have to get off to do it, then you turn that into a fetish. So some people, so you can, so debatably, you can say that eating ass is a fetish. Getting yes. choked is a fetish. If you if getting it, if tied you up ha- is a fetish. That's, fetish that's a, getting called. Yes, if you listen, can only get listen, off on that. Listen, there's Caucasian people that like to use the N word in the bedroom as a form of a fetish. And if, some if people, they have some to people, say it to get off, that's a fetish. I mean, that's what I'm saying, though. Yeah. So they're fetishes. But they're if, believable. If you fetishes. can do something not, it's not required for you to have an orgasm. Is this considered kinky? I mean. I don't. I have to look at the definition well, of kinky we and fetish. To, to, oh, well, that, to maybe get an understanding about of it kinky, different. I'm because, telling you what it is. What definition? So, let me ask you this then: If you're looking at it from that perspective, it's kind of like saying introvert, extrovert, extra, extrovert, and then ambervert is a middle between the two. So you're telling me the difference between fantasy and fetish is kinky? No, fantasy is considered a mental image or imagination. Um, you create you like a sexual experience, like you imagine a sexual experience. Like there is kind of, maybe you could consider it a gray area. Like if you have a fantasy of something, like I want to have sex on the beach with blah blah blah. That's a fantasy. You're creating an image in your mind using your imagination. Some say you, you can make your fantasy come to reality, or sometimes exactly. fantasies are so far out there. It's always going to be a fantasy. Like, I have, fa- like, not me, but someone might say I have a, fa- a fantasy of going in space and having sex. Well, we know that it's not going to happen. You never know. <sighs> we in we in them days, man. No. We can make that happen. Um, Those are fantasies. Things that are something that I have in my mind and it's my imagination that I've conquered up that if I could do this, that'd be my fantasy, like my my thing in the bedroom. I mean, uh, it's you know, not unbelievable. I mean, I have my fantasies too. You know, I don't know. They kind of, they kind of, but you know, but they all deal. They all, they all focus around you. So I mean, it don't matter. No, don't have to always focus around that person. I mean, you say that. I'm just saying what I'm definition saying, is. I'm saying from my position. My fantasies, like fantasies, are kind of like you. they're kind of like taboo. Like people that a fantasy of like orgy, that could be someone's fantasy. Not that they would do it, but they fantasize about group sex, oh. orgies. That could be a fantasy, or even if you're not threesomes, uh, uh, stuff like that. Even if you're not a homosexual, you might fantasize about being with the man or being with the woman. That's a fantasy. Those are fantasies. Not to say that's gonna happen. The most common fantasies involve oral sex. Did you know that? Why most common fantasy? fantasy? Because I mean, people fantasize about other people giving them fellatio, giving them head. I mean, it's a reality. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. You, you look. This is why they call them fantasies. You, I, I can be sitting in front. Can't, can't get. Do you know how many times head. I watch TV with you and it'd be like a. Uh, one of my favorite actresses or somebody, I'd be like, damn, I wish I could get hair from that one right now. I mean, you can think like that. That's how you got to think That's a of fantasy? It. That's a fantasy. Okay. You know why? Because the shit ain't going to happen. It's fantasy. Well, okay. True. So, we do agree that fantasies can come true or they cannot. Yes, exactly. Okay. I mean, it ain't rocket science that that can happen and can't happen. I mean, I can fantasize about you being in, um, you know, who knows what they call them things. A kimono. Mm-hmm. Japanese kimono, even though I mean I ain't. That could be it. reality. That's not. But that's a fantasy to me about you that can come true, or you never know. You might not never get a kimono. Oh. Uh, okay. You see what I'm saying? So it's still a fantasy. Okay. So some women fantasies are um, having sex with a stranger. Really? Yeah. Damn. Women fantasize with having sex with a stranger. I, be, I don't know. I'm not getting into that one. That's another subject right there. Or a coworker. That's not about coworkers. Hmm. I mean, it is what it is. So I guess some fantasies include having sex with people that you know you can't have sex with. Yeah. Okay. That's what it says. Yeah. Hmm. Definitely. We're going to go know. more into fantasies and people's common fantasies in our next segment. Okay. Okay, that'll work for me. What you sipping on? 
All right, you're listening to Crown World Conversations with Andy May. Today's topic is fetishes and fantasy. And right now we are talking about fantasy. And I have some examples of what women fantasize about based on personal, not my personal experience, but theirs. One person stated that uh, her fantasy is to watch porn with her husband while having sex. I can deal with that fantasy. That's easy. Well, it depends on what porn they want to watch. (laughs) Uh, Oh, I forgot. Damn. I have to debate on that one, boy. I have to debate on that one. Next one. Another one says, spontaneous sex in a place where almost no people are still public. So, meaning like a park. She stated a park. Park. So people are kind of there but not there so that's public sex voyeurism I think that's what it's also called um or it could be like outside in your backyard where the neighbors might see you kind of getting caught in your own backyard is not shit well it's outside the, it's her fantasy of being outside oh. okay I mean I can and deal with that one too getting caught or a stranger seeing her or them um that's a common fantasy that people that women have. Uh, role play. Role play is cool. Our fantasies. What kind of role play would you be interested, in, Dre? Doctor, nurse, school teacher, student. Yeah, school teacher would be cool. Slave, master. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I'd police know what. officer. A uh, police officer pretty cool too. That'd be a good one. Police officer's cool. Uh, let's see. Doctor. Doctor nurse. I, I Dr. said that. Doctor nurse. Right? Uh, student teacher. Uh, sometimes reverse, reverse the roles would be kind, kind of cool too. Like the, the man's a teacher. I oh, even like a man being the woman. No. Nah, being the man. Nah, nah, <laughs> Make nah, it clear. No. Nah. Nah, clarification. Like, uh, clarification. Reversing the roles in terms of teacher, student, Slash police officer and arresting somebody. So I mean, it's no, just... that that's role play. Here's what a woman says: My longest fantasy has been a threesome with two men watching them play with each other, then takes turns eating me out, then double penetrate me, all the while being very vocal and dirty talking. That's a lot. Uh, <sighs> that's a lot of threesomes. um. I think the only downside, well, let me shut up because that's another show. Downsides of that is uh, when you marry threesomes, is just not a good idea. No, not a good idea. Um, one woman, unless what? unless you use threesomes, what? unless you unless you do toys. That's not a threesome. I mean, it could be considered threesome. No, I mean, it's not. She said double penetration. She didn't say two how. Men. Two men. Okay, men well, you're people to, there. You had to close your eyes and fantasize that it's two men. No. That's not going to work. Okay. Um, here's one says, I want to have uh, some really wild animalistic sex. That's bestiality. That's gross. No, it's not. Like, shove me down and fuck me brutally. Oh, okay. And call that's me a called, dirty bitch. That is called... Uh, Scratch and bite me. Break the skin. Uh, what Urgh. is that called? Punish porn and shit? Uh, yeah. What that's, that's called, called that's, that's, just um, rough sex. I mean, you can call it what you want. I mean, I think that's... That's a fine thin line between you know because you gotta you know have what? You gotta some have... women fantasize about being raped I think that's a little over the board I also think that that is a it's nothing to fantasize I think that's about. over the board too but I also think that when you do that kind of stuff and you don't have like no safe words and shit it might get a little bit too out of hand excuse my language oh you know about safe words nah I mean I just know safe words because I've seen it on TV before Okay, <laughs> seen that shit on TV trust me alright let's see what men fantasize about Men probably fantasize about two girls, both flicking on their ball on his balls, uh, kissing each other. One. Men kissing each other? No, I don't know, not at all. Not Sorry at all. Sorry about that. It's my phone ringing in the background. Not at all. Not two men kiss. Well, you um, might, you know, but that's gay porn. Two women. Two women both so kissing on each other. So three some considered fantasies for guys. Yes. Oh, uh, let's see. Yes, fantasizing. Uh, let's see. Public One places. says putting your partner in charge, so having the woman be more the do- being dominated. Some guys might like that. So does it mean that a woman can put a dildo up their asses Shit. because that's domination? Some guys might like that. 
Just saying. Some guys. That's what men say. Uh, um, some guys. Oral sex. Why is that a fantasy? This is reality. Because it's a, listen, some stuff is impossible. You know, some guys might think about getting no, head what? while they at a restaurant and you girls going oh, to the table, okay. uh, going to the bathroom. I've seen that happen before. And a lot of wives don't give their men head. Yeah, I wonder why. Why uh, is we, that? We're going to have a topic of head game. Some, some of my topics. So we'll ain't talk my about problem. That. Ain't my problem unless somebody got a problem with the head game. Threesomes. A man fans talk about threesomes. Threesomes. Yeah, I told you that. Two women or two men? Two women. Okay. Sure. I mean, unless you just, like you a uh, superstar and you just going to share with your dude. And it's somebody you don't care about. What do you mean? Like two women or two men? Look. In some men's cases, some men will be like, hell yeah, I want two girls. Plain and simple, it ain't, it ain't it's rocket science. Two men. But listen, this this is where it comes into different role, play, different play. If you're somebody like, say, so we're just gonna say any celebrity. I don't care what celebrity you pick. You can pick Denzel Washington. You know, that's a fantasy. Fifty, 50 Cent. Now I'm just saying these guys right here. Fifty Cent. Let's take Fifty Cent for example. Fifty Cent ain't married. He ain't got no ties to nobody. Say Fifty Cent. He's always having girls, so he can always get threesomes if he want. But say he got one particular girl and his homeboy, Tony Yayo or 50, I mean, or Buck or somebody come through and say, hey, 50 might be like, yeah, come on, get in on this right here. That's a fantasy? That's that might, a fantasy? I mean, it might be a fantasy to somebody. It might be a fantasy to the girl. Well, okay. So what you're saying is that what's considered fantasy to some is not, is reality to others. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, anal sex. Anal sex. Uh, that's a fantasy. I'm saying that that is one. Somebody's fantasy? Okay, well. That is somebody's fantasy. Could be somebody's fantasy. I know Um, that. Okay. I'm trying to uh, find the other ones. Oh, let's see. Watching porn. Watching someone. No, we're watching someone have sex. Like, I guess in person. Watching. I I mean, you got a lot of people that do that. Watch someone have sex. Yeah, the man. uh, Either the man can't get it up or something. Or he haven't. Oh man, hell, maybe he just might like the idea of other people sleeping with his wife or his girlfriend or whatever. Oh. You got them type of people. Okay. I think them people exist. Then you have bondage, which we already said that. I think it's everybody's fantasy. Bondage can be anything. The ropes around the bed. Who knows? Okay. Submission. We already mentioned that. Being, submit, being submissive. Yeah. Um... Sex in public is also a male's fantasy. Men have that same fantasy of sex in public. Yeah. Domination. I mean, or, I guess, dominating someone. I don't know. Do you like... I mean, I'm saying that's one of the top ten fantasies that men have. They like to dominate. Yeah, some guys like to be in a, you know, major position. You know? Um, Some of fantasies include... um. Like, uh... Getting... Ooh... Mm-mm. Some have some underwear, like wearing someone's underwear, wearing another, wearing their partner's underwear. That's a fetish. That's, a fetish. That's nasty. That's not a fantasy. You better not. Fetish. You bet not put on my drawers. <laughs> bet not. I'm somebody. You, you know, you, you putting on not. my drawers. <laughs> you, oh no, you ain't never got to worry about that. Them no, shits won't fit. They, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, a man fantasizes <laughs> about being a woman. Really? That's. And of course, last but not least, men fantasize about um, role play and dress up. Like they're I'm saying, like gonna, men dressing up like a not woman. Gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Yeah. So you wouldn't put some lipstick on and some heels walking Hell around. Hell to that's the not your nah. fantasy. My name is not Miss Doubtfire. That's for sure. Oh, my dear. Neither one. You make a call. Make a call. I'm not either one of those. Well, that's some men have those fantasies. That's what I mean, it that's, says. That's some I, some that's men. That's new. Some that's men. new to me. You might catch somebody out there who want to be a gentle giant dressed up six, six feet tall, six, seven feet tall, wearing some high heel stilettos with a dress on. And you might catch them like that. That might be good for somebody. Ain't going to be good for me, though. It says like role reversal. So I guess somebody wanted to be a, a woman. I mean, I ain't, it's a possibility. I ain't messed up with it, like I said. So. Oh, here's face sitting. When a woman sits on your face. That's a is fantasy that, to some men. Is that smothering? No, it says face fantasy. I might have to come back to that one. 
Come I'm back gonna to have that. to come back to, back to that one. Sitting so on men face. have a lot of ooh impregnation fantasy. <laughs> Who wants to? That's not a fantasy. Mm. You fans have to get people pregnant. Awesome. Mm. Maybe that's why some men have two hundred kids. Well, well. All well. right. Period sex. Having sex with somebody on a period. Is that a fantasy for you? Gross. Uh, Mother well. and son. Nasty. Okay. Let's. We have so much more to cover here. Let's um talk about this on our next segment. Okay. Let's get back to it. All right. What's your sipping on? All right. Uh, We are talking about fantasies and we are uh, talking about men's fantasies. I do have a story. One person wrote in. I can tell my girlfriend that I want to choke her, degrade her, tie her up, lock her up in a cage, pee on her. Damn. Have threesome sex, have sex with men, have sex with trans be pegged have many pros- have my prostate massage with her fingers while she blows me fuck her in the ass come in her face damn that's a lot of shit whoa that's a lot <laughs> that of is shit not right gonna there. happen dude that's a fantasy that would not happen one person stated getting impregnated by a woman men you can't get pregnant you can't get pregnant damn that's his fantasy is getting pregnant that's gross um him getting pregnant? Yeah, him oh, getting shit, no. pregnant by a woman. Hell no. Um, one stated, oh, a man's fantasy is to have sex with a virgin. I mean, mm, yeah, that's probably. That's a fantasy. That was probably a lot of people's back in the day. Was, I mean, um, it was hey, one, the sitting on the face thing. Oh, you went back, back to sitting on the face? Yeah. Some men fantasize about a woman sitting on their face. I guess giving them oral sex. Not like innocent. There are a those man sitting on a woman's face. No, a woman sitting on their face. Okay, cool. Because I'm cool with that. What is I'm the cool What is the thing where men like to be squashed? Squashers. Well, I guess women, when they try to smush your face. That's in a and fetish. Shit. I think that men like to be death. That's what I call that shit. Squash, squash. I, if anybody knows about that, please let me know. Please. That shit is write called the show. death. That's death. One man wrote, uh, "I always like biting." Hmm. Mm. Okay, that must be some serious like biting. Like for real, like breaking the skin, biting. Um, one man man wrote in and said he always like uh, he's turned on by his girlfriend smoking while having sex. Ew, smoking while having sex. Like there are um, smoking a cigarette. Yeah, putting like the ashes smoking, on the motherfucking shit. No, it. yeah, nah, hell yeah. to nah. I don't, that, I, I don't mind if my woman drink. You know what'd be cool if you can find one of them things like uh, that they wear on. The back of uh, bikers that they put the water in and shit, and I put a lot of liquor in that shit and just drink while we have. Do you know what pegging is? Pegging. pegging? No, I have no clue what pegging is, but I can pegging. find out for you real quick. Is that like anal sex? I can find out what it is, though. It says that in two pe- persons writing that they like being pegged. Pegging. I don't know what pegging is. I think it's probably a name for they like to have anal sex on them, like someone to. Put a dildo on mm, them. Oh, see. here's one. This is really weird, but I want a dominant girl to piss in my mouth and make me swallow every last drop. Pissing There's my something mouth, about it that just turns me on. That hot ass piss in my mouth. <laughs> nah. Uh, pegging is not a gay thing whatsoever, no matter how you take it as a part. Okay, back together. It's still pegging? sex between a man and a woman. Uh, let's see. Is the woman putting a dildo in his booty hole? Yeah, that's the booty? what pegging is. But they're not gay, though. Let's see. So, men, you can reversed. like to have anal sex Instead and not be gay. Instead of the man sticking his woman penis in, his, in a woman's butt, the woman wears a strap on and sticks it in the man's butt. So, it's the opposite. It's reverse roll all together. So, the woman has a strap on yeah. and screwing the man in the butt. Yep. That's, that's what pegging, peg- and yep. it's not gay. So no. all the men that have these butt issues, don't touch my booty. Oh my god, that's my butt. I'm not be. I'm not gay. I it's s- not gay. It's called pegging. I okay. If about you're gonna put your little dick in ago. my butthole, I'm gonna put my little diddle in your butthole. Hmm? You wanna get pegged? <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's do some pegging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Let's peg tonight. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. so cool. Let me do some sure. pegging. 
not. Say, I'm just saying. Pegging is not gay. Not All these little this men that says you can't go near my booty hoe. Mm-mm. My booty hoe, you can get pegged. It's I'll not let, gay. I'll we just said that on the show. We made a away. definition of it. You Lick can get away, pegged. but ain't nothing going in it. Lick away. Um, here's one. Uh, I never admit that. I would never admit this to my wife, but I like to have sex while she's in her period. That is, uh, I mean, that's normal. What the fuck? I mean, that's not normal. Why yeah. do men have? Why do men want to have a bloody dick? I mean, not like normal in the <sighs> sense of. Listen, let me explain to you like that's no, the fancy. Me, this man has recap, the fancy of rec- getting a bloody dick. Let me I mean, let me recant my statement and explain it to you in a different way. Oh. There is women. There is women in this day and age that will that get horny on their period. Okay, yes. And you got people that'd be okay. like, put a towel down. Let's go ahead and do this. I it's mean, not some people hygienic. That, I mean, it's not. Well, I, uh, okay, it ain't, hey, this is a no judgment clean. zone. It's not so clean. if y'all it's like to have, have like sex that. in your period, go for it. But it's not for me. It's not for me. I mean, it's not for everybody. It's not for me either. But you know, it's not for me. If if for any reason, um, by any chance, you was like, oh, I'm in the horny ass state right now, and you on your period, and you'd be like, hey, let's do put this. A I'd be like, down? No, I think that I don't think so. Never. Okay, so here's one about a cu- a cuckold. What a cuckold, fa- cuckold? No, it's cuck, cuckold fantasy. I have this huge cuckold, c u c k l l d fantasy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 but wait. without the major, what is he talking about? Okay, for some reason, I get turned on by the thought of my girlfriend getting fucked by some large dick. That's what you want to get a black man for. Just, I'm just, I'm sorry. What's the uh, <laughs> spell that thing? Um, you said what? Cuckold, c u c k h o l d. Um, he C O C K L A shit O L K O L D. Anyway, so this, this, he states that he, for some reason, gets turned on by thought of his girlfriend getting fucked by some large dick, which means that he doesn't have one. Um, Hold on. Hold on. Oh, also pegging. What is up with this pegging, listeners? Y'all okay. into pegging? I'm okay, used to being so dominant with her since she's so submissive. Right. I want something new. What is cuckold? Parental effect and offsprings that are not gen. Okay. Oh, we don't know. Mm, but having his, sex with somebody else? His fantasy is for his girlfriend to get fucked by someone bigger, like a large dick. Meaning he must not have a dick. A big one. You, you better get your head game and right, He partner. also mentioned pegging, too. So you pegging must be head. very popular amongst men. Shit. I'm just saying. I mean, it might be to some other people, but, you know, it is what it is. I know, uh, if you ain't got your head game right, buddy, you have to do something. Because that is, uh. I'm just saying that he. W- okay, he they say coca, coca doll, what? whatever it is. Coca doll is, whatever you call it. What'd you say? Coke cold? Coke cold. Is a fetish. It's known as a fetish. Oh, is it? What is it? Uh, it is having sex with somebody, a man is. Who is unwittingly investing parental efforts to offspring that is not general, that is not his own? So having sex with somebody else, having kids by somebody else? Uh, that's what, I don't know. We still disgusting. Okay. I don't know. Mm mm. Laying know. his eggs in a bird. Okay, here's nest. a fantasy. Yep. This is kind of odd. That's what it is. I want a girl to tie me in a chair, feed me Viagra, ride me until I come and feed in me her, Viagra, and then yeah. kiss me and tell me she loves me. What? That sounds like. Feed you Viagra. How many Viagra like, you popping, dude? It's not food. <laughs> Viagra's not food. It's, uh, it's medication. Boy. Did somebody really me like and me? y'all have some listen, pretty interesting man, fetishes. Man, listen. Y'all like to get pegged. We all know that men like pegging. Listen. That is your fantasy. You never want to admit it, but men, you want to experience man, the pegging. Man, I got y'all's back next week. I promise. Uh, somewhere or another, I'm going to do a show for y'all. <laughs> To get back at the women because we ain't gonna let Annie Mae talk to us like that. <laughs> it's I, I'm it's trying to in the research. Y'all. It's I'm in the, the research. I'm These to are facts. Y'all. It's not all facts on it everybody. Facts. It's on certain people. Several men, like the top, like seriously, like three men mentioned pegging. But I've never heard of such. But it's called a man wants to get dick up their ass. I mean, and they're not gay. And I pegging, mean, we research what pegging is. And pegging states that men like to get fucked in the ass, but they're not gay. I mean, so let's the whole debunk. We're going to debunk the myth that if you like to have dick in your ass, you're gay. You're not. No, you're not. You're not gay. But at the same time, too. So let's get pegged tonight. Let's get pegged tonight. 
Mm, not going <laughs> to happen here. I'll be asleep before you think about hating your boy. Oh, my God. That's Mm-mm. awesome. Um, That's awesome. I are love we this. trying to wrap up? Because yes, you've got about two and a half minutes. We're wrapping up. So, we learned a lot today. We did learn a lot. I learned what pegging is. We learned what pegging is. We learned the definition between fetishes. Kinky. Cuckold. Uh, we know that fantasies become reality. I don't have a fantasy because if I had one, I've, I've lived it. So I don't know if that's good or bad. Dre, do you have a fantasy? No, not really. I'm married to my fantasy. Oh, so sweet. Married to my uh, fantasy. So I don't, I had, I guess I've had one in the past, but I've lived it. So I don't, maybe we can, maybe I can conjure up a fantasy for future. Who knows? Oh, well, well, well. But. Ways to reach us is uh, hit up Anime on uh, www.dreysradiocafe.com. Look up Crown Royal Conversation. There you will see a link that will say uh, contact Anime or suggestions for next show. Or if she's got a question that she gives and y'all can answer that question and send it straight to her. That's I also how you want some her. beverage suggestions. If you have a mixed drink, you want me to drink, like mix she it up and taste it. She likes brown liquor. Well, FY. I, if it's, I'll do more than brown liquor. Send me some of your famous re- alcoholic re- recipes. Okay. Uh, see if I can get sponsored by Crown Royal down the line. Hopefully, Ooh. knock on wood, that'd be good. Uh, Crown Royal. Also, you can reach us six one five five four zero three nine nine eight is the station number. Also, if y'all have uh, any suggestions or anything like that for the show, hit up Annie Mae. Uh, if y'all go, like I said, to www.dreysradiocafe.com and look up Crown World Conversations, you will see her uh, information right there. All y'all do is answer the questions, send her a topic, anything like that, and she will get that to y'all. Um, other than that, what is your topic for next week, young lady? I've had a request for my next topic is body enhancements. Body enhancements. Yes. Body he- enhancements, body image. So mm-hmm. we're going to talk about the body. Talk about the body. All right. Well, with all that being said, um, I'm going to let her close us out before we get to our last song. What you got? Oh, well, thank you for just uh, listening to Crown World Conversations. Please uh, tell your friends. So, um, definitely download the app and uh, listen every Saturday at 8 o'clock and on Wednesdays at 9 if you miss the show on Saturdays. Okay. Also, uh, I meant to tell y'all, in order to download the app, because I'm still working on the iPhone app, I'm working on that. Um, hopefully, I'll have it either this week, sometime this week coming up. Uh, go to, go to, excuse me, go to the Google Play Store, and you got to type in the whole word, Dre's, with an apostrophe S, Radio Cafe. There, you will see the link to the, uh, to the actual app. Download the app. It's free. There, when you click on it, you can actually uh, listen to the show live. You can uh, check out the website there in, uh, in Android form. You can also look up Crown World Conversations, get the information, send her any email, stuff like that. And uh, from there, you will be able to have a whole in-depth look at the show by, uh, by just looking at the visual. So uh, with that being said, I am going to turn it back over to her so we can get up out of here. I appreciate y'all listening. All right, we're going to hear our last song of Earth, Wind, and Fire. Yay! What you sipping on?